Hey guys, it is me, Phoenix. I am trying to use this other contraption to see if it works a little bit better. You guys, do me a favor, please like, share, subscribe. Hit the bell notification to be notified when I post a new video. Remember, red hearts, you made it through. Purple hearts, it resonates. Green hearts, you're working on it. Yellow hearts, you rock with me. You got my six, me to have my back because I have yours. Yeah, it just seems like it's muffled to me, so give me a second. But guess what? I do have little technology so it's pretty cool so i hope you can hear that it's just so cute yeah i know i'm messing around but there you have it reconciliation is happening um re reunion with a loved one is on the horizon that is what's going on in someone's life please do me a favor take what resonates leave what doesn't there has been trauma and there has been wounds bottom of the deck is open heart yeah so you had to open your heart when it comes to trying to see um, and uh, heal trauma, heal old wounds. Could be from dealing with a person, place, thing, or a situation. Could be dealing with the past energy. But in the process of opening your heart and dealing with that, you had to go within, change your belief system, look in a different way. Not necessarily change, but actually restructure your belief system, do something different. Uh, and that could be... Yeah, spell work. So what spell work to me is manifestation. Um, spell work, when it sounds like that, it sounds crucial, harsh, like you are um, doing something evil against someone else. And I don't take it like that. I take spell work as manifestation. And I'll read the card just to let you know what it says. It says you're being called to explore, I, uh, I, ex to explore, identify, raising a direct uh, raising and directing energy with the intention of bringing forth an outcome. And so manifestation is how I see spell work. But, you know, others see it as, uh, you know, you want to return the favor. No, throwing bones. This could be a different way. But bottom of the deck is spiritual engineers. So it says throwing bones. I don't know how to do the throwing bone things. But it said, I mean, if you do, you do. That's That's totally up to you. Um, again, you have to unlearn to relearn what you were taught, learning how to deal with certain situations. I do not like the way this makes me sound. Um, okay, I changed it a little bit up. But uh, dealing with certain situations, you have the power to be able to kind of create your own um, universe, create the things that you need to do. Spiritual engineer is here, so you can be engineering different things, and so so. Um, the throwing the bones, it says you're being called to explore uh, bone easing, e uh, excuse me, bone casting to, com com uh, to commune with the spirits of the elders and ancestors for messages of healing and wisdom. Looking for guidance is kind of like what you're trying to do. And so that's the reason why I had this card deck. Um, I, I bought this card deck because, again, we all do everything differently, but spiritual engineer. I'm over my office, so the garage is opening right now. My son is home. But a spiritual engineer, it says you are called to explore using your problems, solving skills, and your knowledge of spiritual psychology and science to bring much-needed solutions. So unlearning to relearn, death energy, ending things that no longer serve you. Um, death isn't the end. It's a transformation that brings new beginnings. And so when it comes to how you... Uh, get rid of the trauma, the wounds. It says deep familiar and past life wounds are causing an impact in this life. Identify repetitive patterns. You see that card flew out like that? Identify repetitive patterns and allow healing and releasing. So, unsure energy comes out. Two of Cups, this is in regards to love and the uh, Four of Cups, which is in regards to harmony. There's something that was causing you disharmony or to be unsure about what can make you happy when it comes to the situation. Yeah, you had a decision to make. You had to go out there to see if it was something that you wanted to do. Or maybe this was energy of another person. Yeah, walking away from the things that no longer served you. Yeah, because it was toxic at some point. So you had to open your heart to see things in a different light and therefore realize what burdens you really have went through. And this could be the other person's energy. But we have uh, the Six of Wands energy. Yeah, you're having success. Uh, with that being said, so there you have it. Hold on one second. All right, so I hope you guys can hear this because this is actually a really good read. So basically to be successful, you have to, you know, to be successful, not to be successful, I'm sorry, 
to have some success, you have to open your heart and look at things from a different perspective. And it says, spiritual engineer, you are called to explore using to the problem-solving skills and your knowledge of spirituality, psycho, 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 uh, psychology. Why can I say that? Psychology. Psycho. No, psycho. Psychology. Psychology. No, psych, psychology. I spelled wrong. And science to bring much needed solutions. So that's what's going to help you be successful when it comes to you learning a different way or seeing it in a different light as you know and that is sometimes what we have anxiety about is because we're so used to traditional uh, means and the trauma that come a lot of that comes with trauma so learning how to manifest this is not like again I'm gonna say this how I see it you might see it in a different light spell work to me is manifestation it's prayer because of the fact to each his own not not to get biblical or anything like that but again it's you it says you are you're being called to explore identify raising and directing energy with the intention of bringing forth an outcome when they tell you to write affirmations when they tell you to pray when they tell you to read the bible when they tell you all these different things whatever your belief system is sometimes it can become toxic to yourself or to the way that you see things and the burdens that you have in your life because it's always you want to be perfect because this is how you were raised. You were raised this way. You weren't raised this way to, to question a, a, a certain belief, if that makes sense. So your trauma can come from past life, or not past life, but the past energy of how you were taught to do things. And that's what causes anxiety in certain situations. So right now at the bottom of these decks, underneath the bottom of the decks, we have spiritual housing, uh, house clean, cleanser. And then we have meditation practice. So you're changing the way you do things. You're cleaning. You're 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 uh, going through sage in your house. You're using, um, you know, all kind of different. Uh, you could be using Florida water to get the the negative energy out of your home. You might be doing egg cleansing. You might be doing all types of things just to try to to balance yourself. But the trauma comes when it comes to you opening your heart and seeing things in a different light unlearning to relearn and that's what we all have to do as an as adults we have to sometimes we can't just listen to the way normal tradition is you have to be able to experience life for how you see it or what you want and so I'm gonna go ahead and pull from the I think this is the I don't know the name of it I'm not even gonna try to call it but um, ask yourself a question and you know it could be a yes or no answer it could be something coming out but again you just have to be able to see what it is yeah this is the peaceful solution for you and at the bottom of the deck is if you believe if you believe no you you can achieve without a hair weave remember uh, anyway that was just me being funny but anyway if you believe in what it is that you want you can have whatever it is and that's where the success comes in at opening your heart seeing things in a different light and it's up to you again that is what you have to understand it's up to you nobody can tell you what it is that you um should should or shouldn't be doing you have to be able to be the one to say hey okay this is how i believe what i believe in these are the toxic things that keep you stagnant and that's where the death energy comes at like you have to open your heart walk away and uh, when it comes to the three of wands energy and i know i haven't said everything death energy two of cups this is relationship situationships this is new experiences this is something that you know, we, partnerships, it's, it's things that, you know, you love or you want to be, you want love, you want to love. But again, having, not having peace and harmony and your decisions and things holding you back, not having a lack of support, different conflicts and things like that is where you pull your energy back and it's like, okay, fine. Um, there's no need for me to, you know, um, revisit the past, you know, in the past, again, reconciliation could be friends, family, could be ex loved ones or uh, situationships it could be anything but you're holding on to that poison that's why I see that um, that's why I say that I mean not see that I see it and I say it when it comes to what I'm trying to re relate to you is that seeing it from the cards I see that you're holding on to the toxicity and you're afraid to end things and do something on your own to be able to venture out to see and uh, to look at it in a different way. And the peaceful resolution is that walk away from those energies of you feeling like you can't open your heart. You have to always 
be mad and not be able to forgive because reconciliation does not mean that you have to get back in a relationship. It just means learning how to forgive. And again, if you believe in what it what it is that you want, the peaceful resolution is with you being able to ask your ancestor like because when it when this comes out throwing throwing bones to me, this is kind of like no, I don't do that. But this is you um, breaking generational curses. Does that make sense? It's like you breaking generational curses, like asking your ancestors or asking, I, I ask the universe, asking your universe, the universe for guidance to, to, you know, and it's the same thing as you praying and asking for uh, a sign, things like that, if that makes sense. But if you believe in what it is that you want and how you need to change how you see things or how you feel about things, then that's where the peaceful resolution comes in at. And that's kind of how I see that you have to be able to standing standing your own truth and standing your own uh stand on your own to be able to not allow people to push you in a certain direction so i think that was a really good read i'm gonna go ahead and end this by pulling from the four agreements um by don miguel ruiz um there's the little book there that's just a little excerpt of it but i'm gonna pull from there i have that and then i'm gonna pull from the crystal deck if you guys want to know um my interpretation of the four agreements then you can click the link up above. Also, uh, for the crystal deck, yeah, the green tourmaline is your heart chakra. Um, the, the green tourmaline, but the crystal deck, if you want to know about the chakras, my, my interpretation of the chakras um, is uh, the link is up above. So we have always do your best, which you have. It says do your best because you want to, not because nobody else wants you to. Do it because you want to change the way you do things if you feel the need to. And that's where we are. You have the right to make decisions that you want to make and to be able to understand what is a burden to you and not allow somebody's traditions to stop you from feeling the way that you feel and that you, if you believe you can achieve. And so um, it says you do your best when you are enjoying the actions or doing it in a way that will not have a negative rape that will not have negative repercussions for you you do your best because you want to do it not because you have to do it not because you are trying um to please the judge and not because you are trying to please other people so again you learning to forgive learning to forgive from the past to whatever the situation may be and changing the way you see things because this is what you believe in and this is your peaceful resolution and nobody can change that for you we have the green tourmaline, which is the heart chakra. Um, transmutes, clears, and heals. Transmutes, clears, and heals. And the affirmation says, my heart is filled with love, peace, and harmony. My heart is filled with love, peace, and harmony. So based on any decision that you decide to make, your heart is filled because you are the one who are able to reconstruct, to be able to, to change your belief system to what you believe in and not what somebody else believes in. And this is your peaceful resolution. So that's your heart chakra. So, again, if you want to know about the, uh, the chakras, my interpretation of the chakras and the four agreements, uh, click the link up above. Let's let this old energy go. I now let go of worn out conditions of lack, doubt, hate, negativity, procrastination, stagnation, sadness, generational curses, debt, bad energies, heartbreak, bad health, and addictions. Remember, addictions can be to a person, place, thing, or a situation. I love you guys.